So we made ourselves a pretty perfume bottle. It turned out okay. Um, it, you know, we don't have a lot of clear pieces, so I think it turned out fairly okay. Actually, I want to take this part off again. I think that looks better. What do you guys think? Hopefully you agree that uh, this turned out fairly well, and I hope that you play along with us. Let's put five minutes, let's, let's go and find out how I built this in five minutes of time, and then I hope that you play along with us and build a perfume bottle like this one or anything else related to Valentine's Day. Okay, let's go check out how I built this perfume bottle in under five minutes of time. Let's go check it out. So welcome back to my Lego lab and today we have to build a perfume bottle. So let's put five minutes on the clock now, if you guys want to play along, pause the video right here, go get your Legos, come on back, and then play along with us. In, in five minutes of time, you'll have something created. Okay, so let's start the clock. Now, perfume bottle is clear, so let's get out our clear parts. These are our only clear parts that we have, so obviously it's not going to be all clear. Um, if you have more clear parts at home, that'd probably be advantageous for you to really um, try to build something with clear parts instead of um, opa opaque parts. Is that non-clear parts or opaque? Actually, we're coming along already really looking good here. Wow. Okay, now that looks like a rocket. Maybe this is a rocket perfume. <laughs> rocket perfume. Phew. No, we're not gonna do that. That would be funny though. Um, if somebody came out was like, "This is the official perfume of NASA." <laughs> that would be hilarious. I find. Okay, so let's try to keep with the color scheme, maybe. And just maybe we'll just do something like this. Because I like these, this barrel kind of look to it, right? The sides are definitely curved over. And that to me, hmm. Right, general shape. I like that, the wider kind of flask looking uh, perfume bottles. Um, it definitely has to be wider at the bottom than at the top. Interesting. Maybe if I change it up. Let's just, I got a lot of time. We're about two minutes in. What if we change it up and put this in the middle? You know, I'm trying to use the yellow because I think, when I think perfume bottles, I think golden, you know, like a golden, gold bottle, clear gold bottle, or a bottle that's half clear, half gold, something like that, right? Hmm. That orange is very carroty. Looks like a carrot sitting underneath a perfume bottle. Don't really like that. So let's try something else on the bottom. But I like this overall feel. So far, it looks good. Maybe it's just a black bottom. Yeah. They do that a lot. Whereas the bottom it has like maybe some grip, like a plastic or a gripping material. I can see that. So we'll go with that. Maybe it's a cheap bottle of perfume and there's just a plastic bottle, right? Maybe that's what it looks like. Maybe that's what it is. So now we need to embellish it to add some character to it to say, hey, this is this is an expensive piece of or object, uh, expensive object. It was expensive perfume bottle, right? So maybe we put some embellishments on it. And so when you take the cap off, you got a little jewel on top of the um, on top of the perfume bottle. Maybe it's something like that, right? Here. Mm, that kind of looks more like a 
like a futuristic ca uh, pyramid or castle than anything else. But let's take a look at that. I don't like the middle. I liked having the three columns. Maybe it's a perfume that has to mix halfway, right? I mean, have you ever seen like those glues that come in two separate bottles and then when you push push out the material, um, it actually combines. So maybe this is a futuristic perfume bottle that actually has three different scents and when you spray it, it combines all three. What do you think of that? I like that idea. And then we got the gems here, kind of uh, non-symmetrical gems. I, I like that. It kind of gives a feel of expensiveness to this. Let's see, what else can we do? Maybe we got a little bit of a stand. We're almost out of time. We're almost at five minutes. We've tried a lot of different things. I think that most of them came out fairly well. Um, brick breaker, and then we hit our five minute mark, but all I gotta do is get these and put them on the underside. We tried a lot of different techniques to this one, uh, perfume bottle, and that to me, Adds a little something, adds a little bit of uh, a little feature on the bottom there. I think that turned out fairly well. I like the flask kind of shape to it, right? That a long oval shape, overall shape. And then it's got the, the top part that you can take this part off and then uh, get to the liquid inside the perfume bottle. I don't know anything about perfume, so. Uh, I could be using the wrong terminology a lot here, but it's got a little bit of a base uh, to hold it up. You know, I think that turned out fairly well. I like the overall concept, the overall shape, the overall size, colors. You know, I wish these columns were clear instead of um, yellow, but it's what we have. It's what we have in this kit. And sometimes that's what you have to do. You just have to build with what you have and not worry about what you don't have. Um, so I hope that you played along with us. I hope that you were able to create something in our five minutes of time. If not, continue on. The time limit is only for me, so not for you. So go ahead and play along uh, a little further and make the best perfume bottle or any Valentine's Day gift that you might uh, have in your head. You know, go ahead and try that instead. So I hope that you played along. Hope that you share your creations with us on our social medias. Now let's talk about what we're going to build next for Valentine's Day. This is all week we're doing Valentine's Day stuff, so let's go check out what and spin the wheel and find out what we're going to build next. Okay, let's go check it out. Well, that was an interesting build. Now we got to spin the wheel full of Valentine's Day items to figure out what we need to build for tomorrow. It's another bonus. So we got to build something out of the 221 pieces that's Valentine's themed. Let's go. Let's go build it and make sure you tune in tomorrow to see how I built it. And I'll leave you with this. I want everybody in our community to make something and share something each and every day. That's the whole point of this channel is to have a community of makers going ahead and making whatever they love to make. I think you'll be happier and more engaged in life if you just go ahead and make something today. Thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.